when I was a kid, the shops in the neighborhood were just that. They were neighborhood shops. You had your neighborhood pizza place, neighborhood butcher slash uh, sandwich shop, bakeries, you know, stores like that that represented the neighborhood. The owners of those shops worked the shops. They lived next to the shop. You knew who they were. They knew who you were. And it was a very community-oriented situation. Nowadays, with the, these franchises and these chains, uh, the money kind of, you know, comes in. They give out a couple jobs here and there, and then the money goes back to wherever they come from. And uh, unfortunately, in today's business, um, a lot of mom and pop shops close down because of this, because people feel like they need to go to the uh, flashy, brand new, highly commercialized restaurants and or stores. So over time, it's eliminated that neighborhood feeling of um, what that shop owner or store owner used to represent. Uh, so when we opened Joe B's, that was a big part of what we were gonna do, which was stay community-based, help out your neighbors, help out your community, and uh, you know the profit, the profits aren't everything. It's more about um, staying viable and thriving within your community. So, with that in mind, that's basically was our premise when we started up, and we try to spread that throughout our year, our months, our days, our workers. Everybody is a part of that community base. Um, philosophy. So throughout the year we'll do things like we'll have a sandwich contest in which uh, you know customers can make up their own sandwiches. We have fundraising teams which we raise money for different things from cancer to athletic teams to uh, things for boys and girls of younger ages, youth programs. So we have a scavenger hunt every year, we have a cocktail party every year, we have uh, we do a basketball tournament, we do a wiffle ball tournament, we get involved in putting together flag football leagues, we have Halloween parties, we uh, work festivals, including in Kingston they have a big one every year, an Irish festival called the Hooli on the Hudson. Uh, not only that, but we're busy with the caterings, we go out and do parties for people. Uh, we're live on the scene for a local radio station whenever they have a live broadcast. We're open seven days a week, uh, so we all stay pretty, pretty busy.